and today is June 4th, 2020, and we are moving on with area and perimeter. We'll be doing word problems today. Today's objective, students will be able to apply their understanding of area and perimeter in order to solve real life word, word problems. And your DOL is an online math assignment that has to do with area and perimeter word problems. Example one, teacher model. How many square inches of fabric are needed to cover the top of a rectangular table that has a length of 51 inches and a width of, 50, of 44 inches? First, I wanna sketch what this table might look like. So please be patient as I build this table. So it says the length is 51 inches, 51 inches, and it says our width is 50, uh, 44 inches. So on the side here, I'll put 44 inches, I'll abbreviate inches. Okay, so I know that information so far. How many square inches of fabric are needed? So I need to determine how much fabric would be needed to cover this table. Therefore, I need to determine how many square inches are inside of this rectangle. I am looking for the area. I know that to find the area of a rectangle, I can multiply the length times the width. So I'm going to be doing that multiplication. 51, and again, give me a few moments to set this up, times 44. All right, the first thing I want to do is four times one is four, and I'm no longer underlining. And then I'm doing four times 50, which is 200. I'm making sure the ones are lined up with the ones. Next, I'm going to do 40 times one, which is 40. And then lastly, I'm going to do 40 times 50, which is 2,000. But I need to make sure this is all lined up correctly. All right, and now at the very end, we need to add. Again, this will be a lot easier for you on paper. So if I add all of these together, I do four plus zero plus zero plus zero, which gives me four. I'm adding the ones first and then I'm moving on to the tens. Zero plus four plus zero again gives me four. Okay, now I'm doing two plus zero, which is two. And then finally, I'm bringing my thousands place and my final answer is 2,244 square inches. So in order to find the area, all you have to do is length times width. All right. The length of the picture is nine and one quarter inches or nine and one fourth inches. The width of the same picture is eight inches. Sandra wants to put a wooden frame around the picture. Ooh, so I'm thinking a wooden frame, a picture frame goes around the outside of a picture. So we're definitely going to be talking about perimeter. How much wood does she need to do this? Well, let's start by sketching the picture Sandra has. So please again, be patient as I create this picture frame. Okay, I'm doing the same thing I did before. The length is nine and a quarter inches and I'm labeling and the width is eight inches. So I'll leave it like that. All right, that's what her frame looks like. How do we determine how much wood she will need to make a picture frame? Well, we need to add all of the side lengths together. What is it called when we find the total distance around the figure? Oh yeah, that's called perimeter. So I need to add nine and a quarter plus eight 
plus nine and a quarter plus eight. A lot of you for past assignments were only adding two sides, but remember there are four sides. Opposite sides are equal. So if the top is nine and a quarter inches, the bottom of the frame is also going to be nine and a quarter inches. Do we see what I did there? Opposite sides are equal. So I'm adding all of those together. And when I add those together, I get 34 and two halves. And I'm going to label feet. It's not square feet, it's just feet because we're talking about perimeter. Perimeter, you add all four sides. Area, you just do length times width. Okay, your independent work today, and I made it a little fancy today. There I am on the left. It's your independent work, your Google Classroom assignment, which is just word problems, and you need to either multiply length times width to find the area, or you need to find the perimeter, which is adding all the sides together. Thank you, and have a wonderful Thursday.